Hey everybody, welcome back to Star City Scale Modeling. Uh, the video we're going to do today, uh, we're going to cover three different things. Uh, we're going to cover the new Revell Chrome Spray that's uh, on the market. Uh, we'll go over how I thought that turned out. Um, I actually was surprised and I'll go over that here in just a second. Uh, we're also going to cover the new racing harnesses from Gopher Racing. They're not quite on the market yet. They should be out in the next uh, few weeks, probably to a month. Um, and uh, Henry gave me an advance set to go over, so I'll review those. Um, and also, I'm going to give you a little tip on how I keep records of my models for the last couple years. Uh, every model I do, I like to give a little keep information of what I do to it, what I add to it, the stuff I used on it. But I'll show you that here in just a little bit. So... Let's get to it. Okay, so again, I'd like to welcome everybody back to the channel. As I mentioned a little bit earlier uh, in the start there, that I've got three things I'm going to touch on tonight. Uh, one of them is a tip that I use um, on all the models that I've done for the last uh, two years or so. It uh, helps me keep a record of everything concerning each model. Uh, the second thing I'm going to touch on will be the uh, new chrome spray from Revell. And then again, we're going to touch on the new uh, racing harnesses from Gopher Racing. So the first thing I'm going to touch on is this record where I'm talking about. This is one that's uh, not completed yet. This is what I start with. And this is what one would look like when it's done. So basically what I done is when I'd go to the shows or I'd look back on a model and say you know what color paint did I use for that or what aftermarket did I use or so forth um, I said I one day I got to do something to just start a record on these things so I filled this out on the computer and you can buy Avery uh, index cards uh, they come I forget whether it's like six or eight on a sheet or but anyway you print them out just like you do your labels and then you just there, got a micro perf and you can tear them apart. So what I've done, um, I have a place for model, a place for the scale, what brand it is, the start time, the finish time. I have a place for all the interior paints I used, whether it's a two or three tone interior. Uh, you know, you usually have different color seats and dash and so forth. Uh, the exterior paint. Uh, it, you know, you, sometimes you just got a single collar, sometimes it's two-tone, or you might have even amount of three-tone sometimes. The other paint, um, that's just for anything odd to do with the uh, model. It's just like on this one that I've completed, uh, 41 Chevrolet pickup. Uh, the other paint, I listed the uh, collars that I used when I did the, um, uh, painted the uh, wood grain bed on the truck. So I used other paint line for that. And then, of course, the aftermarket, I list all the stuff, uh, as you can see on this 41 Chevrolet pickup one, all the stuff that was aftermarket, photo etch, um, all the lines, spark plug lines, wires, uh, hose clamps, and so forth. And then on the back, I used, um, I used this space for anything odd that I might do. Uh, like I added the fuel lines on the engine, um, the chain on the tailgate, um, listed all the stuff that's odd that's not aftermarket but just stuff I may have done to change up the model song. So anyway, this is a pretty good idea, um, at least it is for me. Uh, every time I go to a show, whichever models I'm taking to the show, I'll carry those cards with me so if somebody asks a question about a model, uh, what color paint or what um, number it was, like if it's Tamiya, TS, whatever, I can look back if I don't have it on my memory and well, I can tell you exactly what I've done to it. So anyway, that's a pretty good idea on that. Uh, the second thing I want to touch on is this uh, Revell Chrome Spray that just came out recently. Um, it's actually about $27, $28 a can, which if it works, it's uh, well worth it. It doesn't take a whole lot. And I'll be honest, I was hesitant to try it. And I finally broke down and said, okay, I'm just going to try this just to see um, what I think of it. Because like I said, I've sort of got hung up on the Molotov pins and the, um, actually I get the refills for the pins and I airbrush it. Uh, occasionally I will uh, just brush paint it if it's like on interior stuff and just put a couple drops in a, 
a little cup and I'll paint my interior smaller pieces but for the most part I've always sprayed my Molotov. I know there's Alclad, I've tried that and I just don't like the, the way Alclad finishes out. So anyway I thought okay I'm going to try a can of this just to see what it does. Well, I got to be honest, it was a total surprise the way this stuff came out. Um, ignore the dirt in the um, chrome paint and any roughness. Like I said, I just grabbed a quick big piece of plastic out of my parts box. And um, I didn't sand it down, get it smooth. I didn't prime it. This is just total. Um, this half over here is over gloss black paint. This side over here is off of... Um, uh, just off the only white uh, plastic, bare plastic. Um, I tried clearing it on this front half up here and because I'd read a couple of uh, articles where they said you still need to clear it. Don't clear it. This right here is disaster if you clear it as you can see uh, right here. But if you come back here, let's see if I can get it. Um, the um, If you can see the Zappa Gap bottle and like I said, this plastic isn't smooth. This is just over rough, unsanded, unprimed um, plastic. So to me, this has got to shine better than Molotov or Alclad. It's actually durable. Um, if you get right down on it and really want to scuff it, you might see a little scuff. But I've tried, and it's, it is not scuffing up like a lot of the Molotov and um, Alclad stuff does. And like I said, you don't need to clear it, or at least in my opinion, you don't need to. Um, so anyway, I've already ordered another can of this stuff to put on the shelf because I definitely will be using this from here on out unless something else comes up. So anyway, just thought I'd give you an opinion on that. I still um, need to try some actual parts to put on a model. Uh, like I said, this was just test shots right here. Um, this right here has got like two coats on it. It's got um, uh, one coat uh, just real sort of light. And then the second coat I put a little bit heavier. And I didn't have no dry time in between. I just maybe had like maybe 30 seconds. And then I went ahead and put the second coat. Just trying to do a test run. Um, at first when you spray it, it sort of got a like a bubbly effect to it. Um, it's just, and then once it dries, it dries out smooth. Um, as long as you're not spraying over dust and unsanded plastic like this. So, anyway, I just thought I'd give you my opinion on it. Um, so, like I said, I'll be using this for sure. And then the third item that I want to go over. These are some new racing harnesses that uh, Go For Racing is coming out with. Uh, Henry Mason, which runs uh, Go For Racing, he actually just lives a couple miles from where I live at. So anytime he's got something new he wants to bring out or any new products, he'll either come and talk to me and want to know how it will do, or either he'll bring me a sample of it once he starts doing it. So here a few weeks ago he brought me the um, this racing uh, harness set. And this has got the black ribbon in it. He said that the sets will be will be available in four different colors. The black, blue, red, and I believe white, but I've actually forgotten what the fourth color is. But I do know red, blue, and black. Um, like I said, these aren't on the market yet, but they should be out. He told me just any time in the next uh, few weeks to probably sometime late December at the latest, I would think. So, but anyway, looking at these over, I haven't actually done a seat yet. Uh, as soon as I do a seat, I will be glad to do another review and tell you how it works out. But the instructions here show you how to do a four-point harness, five-point harness, or six-point harness. And like I said, it's instructions for all the way across for um, how you need to do it. Uh, there will be enough material and um, items in this set to do two complete uh, harnesses, two sets. So that's a plus. Like I said, uh, it will come with the ribbon, enough to do two sets. Uh, it's also got, let's see if I can, um, I've got a new camera, so work with me on that, guys. Sorry. Um, let's see here. It's got, um, there we go. 
Simpson and Crow um, uh, uh, decals. These aren't actually a decal. These are just on uh, printed on paper, so you will have to cut them out and actually adhesive them with some uh, probably like white glue or something to the seat belts, uh, to the harnesses. So that comes with the set. Uh, there's three. Uh, let's see if I can get this to focus. Yeah, there we go. There's three uh, photo etch frets. It's got the uh, the loops and the handles and um, the buckles and all the stuff you'll need to do uh, your harnesses. Uh, like I said, that's three frets of it. And like I said, if you're doing two harnesses, that's quite a bit of photo etch to have to use. So that's in the set. And also there will be a uh, red ribbon that uh, you will use for your pull straps uh, on each shoulder strap. Um, I'm not sure that I've seen any racing harnesses that came with the actual pull strap. Uh, I may be incorrect, but uh, either way, that's a pretty good addition to the set. Um, I know, like I said, if it doesn't come with it, you've been having to make your own, but um, Henry's going to uh, have these included in the set, so that's an added plus. So, uh, with that, that's all I'm going to cover today. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, things have been right hectic, so I need to try to get back more consistent. I'll be definitely doing um, a review of the Acme show this weekend where we're going to down in um, Smyrna, outside of Atlanta, see all that show. Uh, I've never been down there. Uh, this time of year, I've always got something else I do this time of year, so I haven't ever been able to go to the Acme show. So I'm actually looking forward to it, to, go, to going to my first time. Um, and then hopefully in the upcoming weeks, I've got several things I want to do videos on, and I um, should be getting more consistent with them now that I'm getting things uh, straight on some things I had to get done. So um, with that, uh, I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope to see a lot of you in um, Smyrna this weekend at the Acme Show. With that, I'll see you.